Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. This is an episode of First 15, and today we're checking out a game called Super Mega Baseball. Yeah, I don't know much about baseball. I'm not American. <laughs> the World Series is only involving one country. Um, baseball is a song that I just don't know that much about, below... I do like playing arcade games that are baseball, like arcade ones, not the real um, heavy, heavy simulation kind of ones. And I heard and found out that this is a good cross in between, with a little bit of goofiness, a little bit of a fun and easy gameplay, as well as actually having a fairly deep and interesting uh, team and season mechanic that actually is built into it for actually doing a number of, uh, of matches back to back as you compete against the rest of your league of bizarrely named competitors. Uh, there's so many weird teams listed in this. I'm going to just kind of give you a bit of an oversight on the quick exhibition match here. So it's like exhibition matches are only five innings. It gives you a chance to see how easily this game teaches you how to play. I don't really find, I don't think, I think the last, well, to be honest, I see this game being very, very similar to an all-star pro baseball game that I played that was a Japanese arcade at one point. I'm trying to remember what was it what was it called it was an all-star baseball game i think it was just called that but it was like a japanese league it was a, an arcade machine that i just had access to in some local arc, um, local gaming center that just happened to have japanese boards inside their uh, jama cabinets so it didn't really like you didn't need to be able to read anything all you could tell was actually like i want to pick that player because they have a higher number than the other player i can't say their name and they all look identical so this is a little bit different in the way that you would be playing in exactly the same way using um, characters that all have their unique stats, but you don't need to know too much, just pick the higher number. The mechanics for the game are really easily taught because they, even if you look at the how to play for this game, it specifically says like this how to play is actually for people who want to brush up on something that they didn't understand the first time it was explained. Just go and play the game, we'll explain as it goes along. Which is a really important tool, because otherwise you end up actually having games that just get bogged down and teaching you all the mechanics and how to do every trick. Meanwhile, just doing them in play makes it so much more um, intuitive, I suppose, because you're actually seeing the context. And it's never going to be like a, a stock cats that you're going to have to make. It'll be always based on whatever pitch or throw or bat that have actually just happened. So. I'm really impressed with the situational uh, learning that is actually put through the game. And no matter what, it's actually always got the right tooltip for the right moment to actually help your gameplay. And there is a kind of like pro mode in the game, which is referred to as like ego mode, where uh, the computer assists you less as you get better, which you can pump up in the uh, whenever you start playing the game or you can just let the accumulation of experience and how well you're playing slowly ramp the difficulty up for you or of course scale it down if you're as bad as i am whenever it comes to dealing with even cpu opponents so yeah that's the options you kind of get yeah you, you either get to use your ego I, I love the fact they call it ego because it's essentially this idea that you could just kind of go yeah 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 i know all about this i'll be absolutely fine like no no you won't can you figure out how to do all the pitches in this game? How to actually like pitch against, like, and not even just against CPU, but against two players and dig people out and stuff? Nah, I, I, I'm throwing straight balls every single time and I'm getting knocked out of the park for it. Speaking of the skill development you make as you can like progress through match after match after match, you have your star point, which is related to your ego rating and really related to your um, unlockables and your progress throughout the game especially in season mode you'll find that you end up unlocking things like staff contracts and people who can assist your players in the season mode from you when you go from game to game now this is where the 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 very cute veneer of the game kind of gives way to an actually pretty detailed for being a simple kind of like a arcade game detailed kind of management side to the whole thing where you have to employ staff that are actually given stats and bonuses to specific players for certain times for whatever value you can actually manage to allow because you unlock like two staff contracts or three staff contracts mattering on what level your star ability is. 
it's kind of impressive because there's a uh, different things there's actually it, it, it doesn't just say like this number for this it's actually saying like this yugo will increase movement whatever else and it shows the stat bonuses that it goes on to it but it still keeps a pretense of it actually being something other than a buff really now the teams themselves look wonderfully unique and i'm pretty sure randomly generated you get some janky faces out of this but you can go in and completely customize them which is really impressive and it's a lot of detail that you can go into for customization so you can make a team of your favorite players or of your friends and have them go up against it it feels like a baseball version of worms you know like that that kind of like intense um customization that goes along with it if you're playing with friends on a regular basis the season simulation system works perfectly fine. It just runs through all the highly eventful matches that happen in between your own match. Uh, the, these sides of simulation that goes well with the very arcadey gameplay balances out this game that takes a very, very tongue-in-cheek visual style but still plays with a very solid foundation-based baseball game. This is a great sports game. I highly recommend Super Mega Baseball to anyone and everyone. It's a great game. And I, I can't... I, I, if you'd never play sports games, then I completely understand you'd be on the same basis as me. You wouldn't want to give it a try. But if you're the kind of person who would buy MLB 2016, 2017, 2018, this is a really good way to get friends who won't play with you to play with you. I recommend it for that express reason. Bring your friends on board by giving them the fun Mario Kart version and then slam Gran Turismo in front of them afterwards. It's the easiest way to get somebody in through the door. So yeah, guys, um, seriously, check out Super Mega Baseball. It's a really good game and I'm really glad I got a chance to play it and I'm hoping to get a few more games with other people. You can always get a hold of me on Pastiche or Skin UK and give me a challenge and see if I've improved my ability to bat, but I doubt it's going to get that much better anytime soon. So guys, I want to say thank you very much. I love you. I hope that you love me. Come back anytime here on the channel. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all of the other things. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.